Hey, you guys, greetings from Malmo, Sweden. This is Altrock and Blogovision. My name is Tatiana Spiteri. Let's analyze the running order and the final, 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 final rehearsals, which have happened now, right before the jury show on May 10th. And that means basically this is how it's going to be tonight. Oh my God, for the jury show, we are going to get the grades for each country tonight. And then tomorrow is the grand, grand final, which means We'll know our winner of Eurovision 2024. I'll try to keep it short. This is very hard because we've got 26 countries to look at and uh, we'd better not waste our time. Let's go. Very few words about each country, starting with, uh, well, we knew that the opener this year is Sweden and they are a hosting country this year, so they are probably not hoping to win this contest anymore. However, as a show starter, it's uh, pretty good, pretty good because it's electronic, it's fun, it's catchy. Where it will land, we'll see. I'm predicting still the second half, I mean the right side of the scoreboard, which means after the 13th place from 14th to 26th, that's my personal opinion. This year, even if jury push for Sweden to get a lot of votes, I don't believe people will give them much. Uh, they will give some, for sure just not you know to be in the top 10. Next one we've got Ukraine and as beautiful as the uh, performance is here I have an issue guys because not only is the second position very difficult to be remembered from this is the case when people will simply not be ready yet for such a strong sort of religious philosophical song you know with so much content the illusions you know and all kinds of references uh, simply well first of all not everybody will yet tune in to watch Eurovision 2024 or start streaming it on YouTube and second um, this is just it you know it's the song that needs warm-up that's how I uh, explain it to myself you should be ready for the song the song is kind of a sort of a quintessence I don't know or it could be good in the second half of the show for sure but maybe in the middle not at the beginning it uh, will lose certain points just because we will not be in that serious state of okay then comes out you know this sort of um, in-depth kind of uh, track that we need to uh, you know that gives us food for thought people will not yet be ready for food for thought at that stage let's move on to the spot number three and that's germany um i don't have much to say here we knew that germany would be somewhere here at least in the first semi so uh, this is a fiery show and maybe color wise it's similar to alon alon and jerry hale uh, would i have preferred it somewhere else yes i would have preferred germany later in the running order because it's uh, actually a very both of them uh, ukraine and um, germany have a very powerful vocal performance this year and this might affect either ukraine or germany you know in their points but uh, in any case i think isak will be remembered for his vocals and uh, he will stand out in the recap as well we saw the recap just now it's pretty powerful <laughs> Then we've got uh, Luxembourg and vocally it will be definitely a bit of a, not let down, but you know what I mean, like not as strong as uh, Ukraine and Germany uh, going before them. But I believe Tali will do a great job of having the first actual girly bop slash just pop fiery song. This is good. This is good. That goes after two ballads and people will want something sweet. You know what I mean? <laughs> people will want something less um, maybe serious and less, uh, let's, you know, pay attention to beautiful vocals. People will want to have fun. People sitting in front of their screens will want to jump up and start dancing a bit. And then we've got the uh, Netherlands, which is a question. Do we have still the Netherlands as a finalist or not? Because just before the final rehearsal of the grand final today, there was a fight between the artist and the photographer, apparently. And uh, after the artist appeared in the uh, flag parade, so to say, without the flags, but still the flag parade and came out on stage to greet the public, he did not perform and uh, the host had to go directly to the next act. But if we see the Netherlands perform from this position, um, it is again dancey song after dancey song, but it's a different type of dancey song. This is more of a little big type of <laughs> song um, for people to simply not even think about, you know, like uh, 
the yeah what's happening like lyrically on stage just to have fun to enjoy the background of all kinds of foods from national uh, cuisines you know what I mean uh, and to simply you know um, enjoy the moment of Does it mean that because they're in the um, first 10 performers, they will not get very high votes? I think it will be, um, to some extent, killed by the jury. I think so. I have a feeling. I think it will be more voted by the public than by the jury, yeah. if it, if we see it tonight. <laughs> then we're going to Israel. Wow, they put Netherlands stri- uh, straight before Israel. And maybe that's what caused this sort of um, uh, confrontation as they wrote, as the ABU wrote between the Netherlands uh, and uh, the photographer. Maybe the photographer of Israel started, uh, you know, asking certain questions that bothered um, our Joost clan. And to Israel itself, uh, the song has now skyrocketed to the second uh, in the betting odds. Israel is now almost leading the betting odds. It goes Croatia, Israel and uh, Switzerland. Um, Will it stay there in the second position? Probably not. uh, But I think it will still be top 10 in the final. And performing from number six is uh, not bad. You know, it's not bad. It's not uh, going to give them all the possible votes, you know. But then again, don't forget how many uh, Jewish people we have everywhere around the world and every country in Europe. And I think it makes it even nicer that the Golan at the end um, makes this line, uh, sings the last line in uh, Hebrew because, uh, you know, it's usually the choice of Israel to sing a little bit, a snippet of the song in their language. And I think that that will add a certain amount of voters, you know, like that will uh, create the sort of, oh, okay, they're singing in the national language, you know, that sounds very sincere, very true. Uh, overall, very sincere performance, and I definitely think it deserved a lot of votes in the second semi. <laughs> Let's move on to Lithuania, which is at number seven. Um, yeah, after such a ballot, Lithuania will be just in time, I think. And uh, I'm just maybe I would have wanted Lithuania later because even in the semifinal we had Luke Telka as number three, and uh, having it at number seven is again sort of um, you know can deprive them of certain votes from the public because this is you know first half when not everybody yet has tuned in by number six and seven they should of course you know but you know what I mean if you gave the country Uh, number three spot to perform in the semi with only 40% qualification chance. Why not give it a later spot in the final? That's my personal opinion. Then we'll have Spain. We knew that Spain would be in the, in the first half of the grand final and I don't see anything bad about it. Um, if they are a little bit both on the fun side, right? Uh, Lithuania and Spain. Both of them are a little bit on the fun side, you know, Lithuania and Spain, but that uh, doesn't mean that one will uh, extinguish the other, you know what I mean? doesn't mean that one will overlap with the other and create... They are different in feel, you know, one is retro, one is modern, one is more... They are both a bit electro, you know, and dense, but I think on a different, you know, spectrum, so to say. Then we've got Estonia to perform again at Dance Song. Wow, I didn't notice that we have one, two, three Dance Songs without a break there, or maybe there... No, there is no no break, right, uh, in between those. And the Estonia is again going to organize, hey, 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 party on stage. But I think uh, from position nine, it's nice to perform. And I believe uh, Estonia will get a few points. However, not enough, uh, neither I think by jury nor by public to make it the left side of the scoreboard. I think we will see it on the right side, which means that they will be somewhere after place 13. And I would say as high as maybe not higher than 15th, 16th, they can... Uh, predict yeah and then we've got Ireland Ireland is surely going to be standing out after three then songs will want something slow and mysterious and that's where Ireland comes in brilliant position for them it will work perfectly I think and today I think uh, in the second uh, rehearsals I mean second the final rehearsals that we saw today of the grand final I think she even more you know improved her performance and uh, she looks uh, much stronger than uh, even in the semi-final now I think she relaxed a little bit knowing how much the public loved it She 
she's now way more confident knowing that people uh, fell in love with her first performance and uh, definitely I felt that now we have more of a true artist artist on stage then we've got Latvia performing and uh, it is going to be also an interesting contrast even though uh, neither of this Ireland or Latvia are ballads no uh, neither of this is a ballad but uh, Latvia has something else to bring to the table and then Ireland uh, from a demonic and dark um, sort of atmosphere we are going to come to this more angelic maybe uh, hope you know promoting song from Dons and um, unfortunately I don't think after Ireland it's good for them to perform to get a lot of votes I think vocally of course jury will appreciate Latvia for sure they'll probably kill uh, Bambitak a little bit but support uh, Latvia that's how I see it for now. Um, but uh, televoters, I don't think he'll get a lot on his side. Uh, and we don't know where he was in the second semi when he progressed to the final, probably ninth or 10th, I think. Yeah. So I would predict Latvia to yeah. end up also like Estonia after 15th, 16th in uh, the final results of the grand final. Then we've got Greece coming out. And after two slow performances like that, Greece will fire it up. Yeah. Definitely, Greece will be on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Greece will be on fire, Greece will set the stage and the audience in the arena, in Malmö Arena to then Sirtaki a little bit. And uh, that's what we'll all need, definitely. It will be the middle of the show. We will want some sort of a banger at this point, you know, and that's what Greece is going to deliver. And Marina Sati is uh, true, true artist. Today she sounded vocally much better in the rehearsals than uh, just yesterday and the day before yesterday. So that uh, gives me a lot of hope that uh, even though Judy is probably going to, you know, bring it a little bit down to underestimate it, I think people will give it massive votes. I am looking at more than 100, I think, yeah, of public votes for Greece from all the countries. United Kingdom comes next at number 13. Is it going to be a lucky 13 or unlucky 13 for them? We'll see about that. Uh, vocally, Oli was a little bit better today than in this uh, in the semi-final performance. But at the same time, by the second half, he still gets out of breath. And that affects, you know, the whole impression. <laughs> Visually, still, it's something to, you know, remember. He's also unforgettable, definitely. But, um, you know, vocally, I think jury shouldn't give him that many votes. We all know that Oli is from years and years, and he's a famous and successful singer. But I think um, knowing how many hopes were put into UK performing vocally strong, this might be a little bit underwhelming in the end. Then we've got Norway stepping up and yeah and our wolf in the forest <laughs> looking for her brother yeah uh, or her brother's blood now uh, our goat uh, is in quite a good position i think 14th is nice being after uk will uh, change the scene a little bit you know from light to dark from pop to the sort of rock here performance rock here in all senses she's on a rock and singing a pop rock uh, entry as well singing a pop rock song I think Norway will get quite a few points uh, following Oli, but at the same time, Oli might still a bit to his side, you know, it will be a bit of a tug of war. <laughs> Moving on to Italy, and uh, definitely after Norway, we will want to have fun, we will again want to dance, and Italy is gonna give us that she is going to give. <laughs> Yeah, definitely it will be strong to perform from position 15. I think knowing that after her we've got Serbia, which is a slow burner, so to say. No, Italy is going to surprise us uh, in a good way, yeah, with uh, this uh, coming out of nowhere. Uh, let's have a party, let's have a cumbia. But not Noya, because Noya means what, guys? Boredom. We are not going to have boredom with Angelina Mango. Definitely not. Then we've got Serbia and our <laughs> Ramonda on the stone. Uh, what will it do in terms of the running order is definitely Italy will steal quite a lot of that uh, in its uh, favor. And I believe that Serbia can find it then in the bottom five, six. I don't want to say that, but 
I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't even be surprised if it gets a zero, you know, from uh, televoters, just because uh, the focus will be stolen from her for sure by Angelina Mango, and the focus will continue being stolen from her by the following Finland, because Finland will have such a crazy, it's crazy, it's party on stage in position 17 that we might forget Serbian performance before it. It just might feel a bit too quiet compared to that and too sort of monochrome, if you know what I mean. Uh, Finland is definitely going to shine from this position. 17 is good for them, especially that next we've got Portugal performing and uh, Portugal is again this slow, um, very introspective ballad, very enjoying the moment. You know what I mean? Like Portugal and the Ukraine have similar type of performances which give you food for thought and which shouldn't be coming in the first half. And Portugal is again, by the way, again, yeah, uh, enjoying the second half uh, of the show in the both in the semi and in the grand final, while for example um, our look telco of Lithuania Sylvester Belt has to, you know, be satisfied with uh, one of the first slots set. Then we've got Armenia, and after a little bit sleepy, maybe Portugal, we will want again to have <laughs> party. And Armenia is going to give us all that, definitely. I cannot wait to see this girl going to do to do to you know, and whistling all the way and, you know, attracting the audience, making it clap for her. <laughs> I don't know why we're not talking much about Armenia, guys, because uh, this is going to steal so many public votes. I think we are going to see them almost repeat the trend of little success, not with maybe 200 points. But again, I see them getting over 100 because or close to 100 because this is strong. This is such a play with the audience with this. Oh, la 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 la. Who doesn't like la la la? <laughs> then we've gone from position. 20 Cyprus performing and um, this I thought was a bit of a unlucky you know it's a bit unlucky for Cyprus to perform after Armenia because uh, first of all they are both uh, on the fun part but uh, Cyprus in this case somehow gets bleaker to me you know like compared to this uh, let's dance together ah uh, eh, you know the play with the audience Cyprus doesn't play with the audience Cyprus is only like let's dance uh, more or less on the spot you know and enjoy it while uh, our Ladaniva is running all around the stage and asking people to join the uh, party that Eurovision is. So I don't know. I think Cyprus could have enjoyed a better position from EBU than not that it's bad to be at the end of the show. It is good in general, but in not to be after Armenia and before Switzerland. And yes, we've got Switzerland next in position 21. We've got Switzerland performing. Good position to perform from because by this time people are going to be like, mm, but this is not doesn't feel like a winner. This doesn't sound like a winner. This doesn't feel like a winner. When is the the winner potential coming and then we've got Nemo coming out with such strong vocals that the audience is going to be definitely blown away in a good way appreciating the vocals <laughs> This is super good for Switzerland to perform from where they are put. Next, we have uh, Slovenia at 22. And after Switzerland, pretty much we can go for a break. I'm sorry to say so. I love uh, Slovenian vocals. I think she's a strong vocalist. And at the end, with this uh, lifting her on top, that will do the trick, you know, to give her a few points. But when we have to combine all the votes, again, I won't be surprised if Slovenia comes last, you know, and uh, ends up in position 23, 4, 5, or 6, or even becomes a zero pointer this time. I wouldn't be surprised. I think Judy should appreciate it more than public did. And it's already nice that Slovenia progressed to the final. But sometimes I ask myself, is it better to not progress to the final? Final at all than to be like 25 or 6 and uh, you know the last ones uh, of the grand final by results that's my personal you know wondering <laughs> next goes Croatia and Croatia will definitely bring the party today at the rehearsal we could hear I could personally tell you guys that it felt like the winner it felt like the winner hands down and uh, it was the loudest the strongest the boldest the unapologetic sort of but at the same time somehow peaceful and um, and just uh, you know pleasantly natural pleasantly innocent I would say even though our baby lasagna looks like you know he, he's going to kill someone or I'll be back <laughs> Terminator but he we know that he's a sweetheart and uh, definitely people will feel it through the performance you know, it feels like a fun family sort of performance uh, and uh, people will appreciate the national motives and the Rammstein vibe. So 
So 23 is amazing to perform from. I think EBU doesn't want to kill Croatia, definitely not. And by putting it after Switzerland, they're giving it even more chance. Then we've got Georgia. Well, Georgia EBU sort of killed a bit by putting after Croatia. I definitely thought that Georgia should follow some ballot. Uh, and uh, in this case, it's going to be followed by ballot, which is France. But it's going to affect uh, the fact that Croatia performs before them is going to affect both Georgia and France quite badly. Uh, Croatia uh, performs 23rd, uh, Georgia 24th, France 25th. And um, yeah, if uh, France chooses this snippet with him singing very far from the mic, they might kill France's points yeah in the final the voters will not uh, sort of remember the whole power of the performance by that little clip uh georgian clip though is nice definitely nice and uh, i would have chosen the same put out the fire <laughs> yeah but after croatia it's too many fires it's too many things going on at the same time and the whole performance is going to be closed by austria the um, uh, whole 26 acts yeah are crowned by our we will rave who and i think that's great you know i was wondering who ebu is going to put last to perform because i thought finland would be a great show closer what do you guys think right in the comments yeah uh, but uh austria is also good and uh, this is going to be really like a you know how, how to call it like a, a party uh, not starter but uh, in a way that you will want to continue raving after this 26 acts have performed you will feel like this is a great great um, sort of peak culmination of the whole show and i think uh, austria like that is going to get quite a few points from the public for the voice you know sounding maybe a bit like i'm a barbie girl you know jury can kill it quite a lot i believe austria will be getting very few points from the jury we know how this type of vocals usually do and we know that uh, Kalina is more on the dance side than on the uh, vocal professional experience side but still Austria is going to catch quite a few votes from the public I think she will not be forgotten no I don't see it as a performance to forget we'll start with unforgettable and we'll finish with the unforgettable Kalin. So that's my thoughts on the running order and on the rehearsals that we've just seen. I think the show will be spectacular in general. I think EBU did a great job at putting ballad fun, ballad fun, ballad fun type of, um, you know, running order in this case. There's usually a lot of complaints about where somebody is put, but I think in this case it will be more of a, it, it's definitely worked, you know, it worked well that uh, EBU decided to spread them out to like six only predefined uh, first half, six predefined second half, and the rest is by EBU decision because EBU decision in this case proved to be quite successful, you know, quite effective. Oh, sorry for my voice, I'm losing my voice already because the press center is quite loud and outside here in Malmö, Sweden it's very, very cold. It's still not more than 11, 12 degrees outside and it feels just not like May, not like spring. So I am all four with my hands, legs, and everything I have, my cat tail if you want for baby lasagna to win because we need Zagreb 2025 guys what do you think write in the comments here yeah? and tell me about your winner and who do you think got uh, more or less chance to succeed thanks to this running order and if you've already watched the final did my impressions coincide with your impressions guys i want your comments go down and drop it thank you so much for watching see you bye